Hi everybody, it's Kara. I have a few small hauls to share with you and I'm going to apologize in advance for the glare that's going to happen periodically because I'm using my desk lamp since it's kind of an overcast day here in Alaska. And if you've been watching my last few videos, I did a small stamp haul video not too long ago and said that I'd been trying to be really good and not buy a lot, which is still true, but up here in Alaska we get something called the Alaska Permanent Fund Dividend. If you guys haven't heard about it, what it is is once a year in October eligible residents receive a dividend from the state of Alaska and it just depends each year based on a wide range of things what the amount is, but every person that is an eligible resident, including children, get this amount of money. You can Google it and check out and see what I mean. But basically this year in October, because I had been pretty good, I wanted to get just a few little things I'd kind of had my eye on and a couple extras. And that's what I did. So that's what I want to share with you. And I'm going to try and remember where all of this stuff comes from, but I've been trying to let all these little hauls come in. Uh, so hopefully I will remember. The first things I'm going to share with you are a few things I picked up over at Ellen Hudson. Um, two of them being a couple 12 by 12 sets of Lily B Design paper, which I've never had. These are their collection kits, and I got Head Over Heels and Happily Lost. And I wanted some bright, fun paper that I could use for an upcoming junk journal that I'm going to get busy on. And I'm going to kind of move my camera so you can see, so I apologize in advance for the shakiness. But here is the 12 by 12. You can see the big colors in this set are the, the pink, the orange, and the blue. You get all of these little alphabets and you get uh, a sticker set, which I really liked. So I actually picked up an extra one because I love the colors. And you get in here a ton of paper. I can't remember how many it is right now. Basically, I think it's like 18 pieces of 12 by 12 and just really cute patterns. Love them. And I'm going to, oh, sorry. I swear it'll settle down. I'm going to use that set in connection with some of the pages in here because it's got that same pink and blue. And then I think I can incorporate the gray because there's lots and lots of fun patterns in this one too. And like I said, I want to use this for a junk journal I'm going to make. So I got those two things. Okay, now we're going to set the camera down so that you guys can stop feeling sick to your stomach. Okay, I also picked up a set of these little Prima junkyard findings, the little um, light bulb looking things. You can see how cute they are and they have words on them. And I also picked up some of this twine from Maya Rhodes. I got the gold and the silver, and I took the silver out because I kind of wanted to see it. Hopefully you can kind of see, there's basically a little silver strand in here. So there's not a ton of silver, it just gives a little bit of glitz to it, but I still like it, I think it's pretty cute. And I think I got like a Versamark pad of ink, which isn't all that exciting, and I think that was it for Ellen Hudson. At a local art supply store, I picked up a few things for my junk journal, which one of these days you'll see more of. Set up some of these pens and colors, which I think are really cute. I picked up some black gesso, which I thought would be really interesting to use. And then I picked up one of these liquid acrylics to use. And if you can see the color, it's gorgeous. It's called Platinum Pink. I love it. And hopefully I'll figure out how to use it because there's tons of other really gorgeous colors. So there's that. Then I picked up, because I've been doing so much swapping and I send little things as gifts, I picked up some little bags. This is a little variety of small ones. These are great for charms. And then I picked up this really kind of cool damask set and I got those from this Etsy seller, Wrapping Me Up. And she had some really great prices, so I picked those up because I've been wanting some of those. And then I also picked up some trim from Frog Feathers, which I have purchased in the past. And she has some awesome, awesome trim and great prices. So let me share that with you. And 
most of this is stuff that I needed for projects, but there were a couple things that I picked up just because. Picked up this brown um, stretchy lace just because it's really pretty. It's a great neutral and I think it would go with a lot of things. So I picked that up and then I couldn't resist this really cute, probably can't see it too well on the black, on the white background, but pink and white daisy um, trim. Super cute. I love that. And then the real reason that I went there was I picked up quite a few of her, um, what are they, like the shabby rosette trim type things. So I have, and one thing I really like is that she sells them by yard and half yard, because sometimes I don't want some of the colors in a big piece. I have this really pretty blue, which I got in a half yard, and for a half yard you get about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven flowers. So depending on what you want to use it for, that may be more than enough. I got that pretty blue, and I got this really pretty kind of beigey brown vintagey color. Love that. It's gorgeous. I'm going to be working on an altered composition book before too long and one of these I'm sure will find its way there. And then I also picked up a small um, green rosette trim. You can kind of compare the size maybe if I can. There we go. That's a small one, which I thought is a really pretty soft color, and I'm thinking about doing something in kind of a vintage Victorian Christmas theme, and I thought this green might be perfect for it. Then I also picked up the black because I'm completely out of it. I love this black. I've used it on the edge of composi altered comp composition books. Sorry, I can't talk. And it covers up that spine really, really well. It just works perfectly, so I love that. I picked up a chocolate brown, which is gorgeous. And then one that I thought was just fun. I only got a half yard of this because I'm not 100% sure what I'll use it on. But denim. How cute is that? I love it. And then she sent me a couple little goodies. She sent me a little piece of this brown. And then she also sent me a black and an orange, which I've packed away to give to a friend, a few of those flowers. Which I thought was really, really sweet of her. And then, of course, I indulged my love of stamps. And I got a few new stamps. I picked up a few from, I think it's called Marker Pop. If I'm saying that correctly. Picked up this one. I've been wanting this one for a long time. Most of these are not new stamps, by the way. And then this greeting farm. And this CC Design. This CC, or this is, yeah, this is a CC design. How cute is that? And then this, I think, is a new one. Victorian Emma loved her. I don't tend to buy a lot of new stamps or stamps at full price. I just, because as you guys have seen, I love them so much that I can't really justify buying a ton of them if I'm buying them for full price. And then I also picked up from the Greeting Farm site itself this one, which is Cheeky Cherry Pie. Super cute. If you watch their site, they do have sales from time to time. You just need to go through their pages and look. I think she was like $4. And then I picked up two at different times of the Miss Anya sets. This is the Miss Anya Lounge. Really cute. These are normally, I think, 18 and I got it for, I believe, 9 And then Miss Anya Bags. Those two. I love their hair. And then this one. And again, these are, I think, normally about 18, 16 or 18. And I got this one for nine as well. So there are all my haul goodies. If you have any questions, let me know. I will um, be doing another haul video probably in a few days because I have a few more small things coming in. And I will also be posting that um, safety pin brooch video soon. And I have another kind of tutorial coming up. So stay tuned for all that. As always, thanks so much for watching, and like I said, please leave any comments or questions down below, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Have a great day. Bye.